Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking Toy Fair and breaking down all the new sets from Toy Story, Star Wars, Jurassic World, and more. For the weekly giveaway, simply comment and subscribe, and you could win a prize. With New York Toy Fair wrapping up, there was just so much news to break down, with new sets from Toy Story 4, Jurassic World, Star Wars, and the Flintstones, so I'm breaking everything down. So let's get started. First up, for LEGO Toy Story 4, we're going to be getting four sets, and these all come from the 4 Plus line, so the sets are not going to be super complicated. First up, we've got the Woody RC set. This set contains 69 pieces and will retail for $9.99. The main build for this set is, of course, the RC car, and while you may think this is a set from a previous movie, it looks like the RC car may be back for Toy Story 4. The design for this version of RC is far simpler than the one we got previously, but I think in general they captured the look pretty well, and all those cool printed pieces look great. The set also comes with three buildable cones, but the cones are pretty small considering the scale, and the set also comes with some simple building blocks that you can knock over, and all those nano figures are actually the green army men, which unfortunately don't have any printing, but they may be the right scale compared to Woody. And speaking of Woody, this is our first look at the normal minifigure styled version of the character, which is very different than the ones we got previously. But with that being said, I think they did a nice job capturing the minifigure style for the character character, especially with that great new hat hair combo. Next up, we've got the RV Vacation Set. This set contains 178 pieces and will retail for $34.99. The scale here is a bit confusing for me. Is the RV a toy or are they visiting a real-life campsite? The RV has some nice shaping and some interesting printed pieces for the side and the grill. There's also a small build for a cabin and a campsite. While the cabin is more of a facade, the campsite has a lot of different areas to play with, such as this seating area as well as a grill. The final build is this entryway to to the campsite, where we can see the Grand Basin sign at the top, as well as this raising and lowering gate. For minifigures, first up we've got Jessie, and I really love the hair hat combo, with the spot in the back for a bow, and you can see there she's got dual molded legs with a cowhide print on the front. Next up we get a custom minifigure for the new character Forky, and this character looks about as ridiculous as he did in the trailer. The character can be held in a minifigure's hand, but he may be a bit small comparing to the scale that we saw in the trailer. Also included in this set we've got the character Rex, and this one is the same mold as the old one, and I love getting this character again. And finally we get one of the green aliens, which has a bit more simpler printing than the one we got in the collectible minifigure series. Next up, we've got Buzz and Woody's Carnival Mania. This set contains 230 pieces and will retail for $49.99. The set depicts the carnival that we saw in one of the trailers, and overall it has a bright and colorful look. At the center, we've got the Star Adventurer game, with bright graphics and all those different targets. And while the 4 Plus line offers simpler builds, all the details you see here are printed, and there's a real working cannon piece to fire at the different targets. Next up, we've got this octopus ride that spins characters around, and I really like those purple printed domes at the center. There are two simple bumper car builds, which again makes me wonder about the scale of this set. And finally, there's a bright and colorful ice cream shop, which features two seats, a table, and a really nice sign. As for minifigures, first up, we've got the new design for Bo Peep in the movie. She's got a great new hairpiece and that cool shepherd's hook piece. After that, we've got a new character, Bunny. This character has a new head mold and short legs, and over I think they nailed it. And of course, they included his companion, another new character, Ducky. This character features an all-new mold, and I think they did a really nice job capturing the overall shaping. After that, we've got our first look at Buzz, which features a very similar design to the one we saw in the collectible minifigure series, but an all-new face. And the set comes with another minifigure for Woody, but this time with another facial expression. And finally, we've got the Carnival Thrill Coaster. This set contains 98 pieces and will retail for $19.99. And I think this set would be perfect to add to the previous set. Surprisingly, this $20 set comes with a complete roller coaster, albeit a small kitty one. The entrance features a turnstile and some nice printed detail, and the coaster seems to be themed like a caterpillar, as you can see from the build here. Finally, this set comes with this small concessions cart, which features pizza, a popsicle, and a balloon. This set comes with Buzz as well as a green alien, but they seem to be the same versions as the other sets, so you may want to skip it if you're going to get the rest. Next up from Star Wars, we've got six brand new sets from The Last Jedi, the new Star Wars Resistance show, as well as the original trilogy. First up, we've got Duel on Starkiller Base. This set contains 191 pieces and retails for $19.99. The main build for this set is a snowy diorama, which features some tree elements, snow, rocks, and even the lightsaber scorched ground. This set includes Kylo Ren with an all-new facial expression, and Rey with a lightsaber and a 
stud shooter. And while overall I like the look of this set, I'm not quite sure it's worth $20. Next up from the all new Star Wars Resistance TV show, we've got Major Von Reg's TIE Fighter. This set contains 496 pieces and retails for $69.99. The main build is a striking red and black TIE Fighter, which seems to borrow some design inspiration from the TIE Interceptor. I really like the contrast of the red and black and there's some nice printed pieces but I'm not quite sure this build justifies $70. Included in this set, of course, is Major Von Reg, and I really love the design of this character. The printing looks really nice, and the helmet design really stands out amongst the rest. Next up, we've got Casiono, and I really like the design of the new hair mold, and there's some nice printing throughout. Next up, we've got General Leia, which is similar to the one we've gotten before, but I really like the face print here. And finally, we've got the Droid Bucket, which is an interesting design with some great prints and an all-new helmet. Next up, we've got the Black Ace TIE Interceptor. This set contains 396 pieces and will retail for $49.99. The ship itself features an interesting design, and I like the graphic quality that the pieces give with those black and white tiles. Included with this set, we've got the Pilot Griff Halloran. The design here looks pretty nice, and I especially love that great new helmet. Next up, we've got Poe Dameron, and I really like the version of this character, especially the way that they did the torso design, with a print over the white torso. And finally, this set also comes with a BB-8. Also at Toy Fair, we got the reveal of a new line of sets called Action Battle, where each set features targets to aim at, and it's almost like a game. First up, we've got the Action Battle Echo Base Defense. This set contains 504 pieces and retails for $59.99. On the Rebel side here, we've got the Echo Base, which features multiple targets at the door, the top, and the turret. And on the other side, we've got the AT-AT Walker with two targets, as well as another target featuring the probe droid. And there are two stations to fire off your missiles. This set contains three Hoth Rebel Troopers, which feature a really nice design, and two Snow Troopers to face off against. To expand that scene, we've got the Action Battle Hoth Generator Attack. This set contains 235 pieces and retails for $29.99. On the Rebel side, we've got a scaled down version of the Hoth Generator, featuring one target. And on the other side, we've got this Gunner Station with one target, and again, a blaster for each side. And this set also contains a unique Hoth Trooper and another Snow Trooper. The final set is the Action Battle Endor Assault. This set contains 193 pieces and retails for $29.99. On the Ewok side, we've got a small build for the Ewok Treehouse, featuring one target. And on the other side, we've got a simplified speeder bike, also featuring one target. And of course, two blasters. New for this set, we've got an unbelievable new version of the Scout Trooper. The print is really great, but that helmet mold is exceptional. And also included with this set, we've got a minifigure for the Ewok Wicket, which looks great as always. While I'm sure these action battle sets aren't everyone's favorite, I think that the kids will have a lot of fun with them. Even though, like most of the Star Wars line this season, they're a bit expensive. Next up from LEGO Ideas, we got the full look at the LEGO Flintstone set. This set will contain 748 pieces, retail for $59.99, and will be available starting this Wednesday, February 20th. The main build for the set is, of course, the Flintstones home, and I think they did a nice job capturing its wonky design with the slanted roof. And the build features a lot of really interesting details, like the palm tree, the stonework chimney, as well as the front with those great tiger-striped curtains. And there's even a mailbox with the Flintstone name at the front. But of course, when you spin the set around, there's a full interior, and you can even remove the roof to access more of it. In the main house, we've got the living room, which features a couch, a table, a painting on the wall, and of course, the Flintstones TV. And in case you're wondering where Dino is in the set, the TV explains that he's missing. Also included in the set is Fred's bowling supplies, featuring three pins and a bowling ball, as well as a small table featuring the Flintstones phone, which is made out of a white croissant. The other main build is Fred Flintstone's car. They did a nice job capturing the design, and I really love that fabric piece at the top. But the best part is that the car can seat all four of the characters, and you can even recreate the scene from the opening, where they put that giant dinosaur slab on the side. Included in this set, of course, we've got Fred and Wilma Flintstone. I think they translated the designs pretty well and used really appropriate hair pieces. We also have Barney Rubble here, which features a really nice design, but unfortunately, he doesn't feature short legs, which I think the character needed. And finally, we've got Betty Rubble, who again looks great, and I love that they all feature those dual molded legs. Next up, we've got some all new sets from Lego Jurassic World, but instead of being from the movies, these sets are from an all new TV show called Lego Jurassic. 
Jurassic World Legend of Isla Nublar. The show will be a 13 episode mini series set to air later this year, and it all takes place before the original Jurassic World movie. The first new set is Dilophosaurus on the Loose. This set contains 168 pieces and will retail for $19.99. This set depicts a Dilophosaurus attack on a souvenir stand in the park, and this set is the first one to feature this smaller Dilophosaurus, which is far more accurate. The main build here is the gift shop, and I love the look of it with all those teeth. There's souvenirs like the hats, and there's even concessions like the popcorn. And this sign looks to be a foreshadowing for the movies, with the Indominus Rex coming soon. The main vehicle in this set is Owen's drone, but ironically this drone is manned, but it has a pretty fun look with those four propellers. This set contains three minifigures. From left to right we've got Harper Hudson, a park worker, and of course Owen. Next up we've got the Baryonyx face-off, the treasure hunt. This set contains 434 pieces and will retail for $59.99. The set depicts Owen and Claire trying to take down some treasure hunters in the park when they come across the Baryonyx. The Baryonyx is a brand new dinosaur and I'm really loving all the printing that we see here. The main build for this set is this Jeep-like vehicle that seats too. It has some really interesting coloring and you can attach that nice trailer onto the back. The rest of the build features a palm tree design as well as some elements hiding the treasure chest. And there's a lot of treasure pieces hidden inside. On the left here we've got Danny Niedemeyer who looks a lot like Dennis Nedry from the original movie and of course Owen. Next up we've got Claire, Sinjin Prescott, and Red the Dog. The next set is Triceratops Rampage. This set contains 440 pieces and retails for $59.99. And I really like how this set depicts one of Jurassic World's theme park attractions. Included with this set we've got the Triceratops and it's really great to get this dinosaur back with a brand new color scheme. The ride itself is an egg spinner attraction and using the brand new gear plates you get that great spinning action. At the front of the ride we get this great gate which is reminiscent of the Jurassic Park gate. On the right hand side we've got a section of the Triceratops enclosure and I really love the look of the down fence. Included there's a sign to the different sections of the park and a small ATV vehicle where Owen can lure away the Triceratops. Included with this set we've got a new version of Owen which I believe is a new shirt print. Next up we've got Simon Mizrani in a nice suit. After that we've got Allison Miles and finally a scared tourist at the park. The final set is T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle. This set contains 716 pieces and will retail for $89.99. As the name suggests, this set centers around a battle between the T-Rex and a large robotic T-Rex. The Dynomech is a very unique build, and I love the color scheme, as it's reminiscent of those original park vehicles from Jurassic Park. This set also comes with another T-Rex, this time in a brand new color scheme. The other small build is this raft vehicle, and the final build here is this small volcano, which I think is a little bit odd considering the scale of everything else. Included in this set, we've got Claire, Owen, and all four of the baby raptors. Next up, we've got Danny Niedemeyer, this time in a great Hawaiian shirt print. And finally, we've got Vic Hoskins. So there you have it, folks, just a ton revealed at this year's Toy Fair. Out of everything we covered today, I'm probably most excited for the Toy Story 4 sets. While the builds aren't anything crazy, those minifigures for me are a must-have. And I'm definitely going to be picking up that Flintstone set. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe, because there's always more LEGO news coming soon. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of all the sets? And which ones will you be picking up? And remember, for my weekly giveaways, simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to learn all about the Lego Hidden Side theme and three new sets from the Lego Movie 2. And don't forget to subscribe.